moving on to things that I didn't like, because honestly, the defense was tremendous today and like almost everything I liked is on that side of the ball. Um, the offensive side of the ball, I, I really struggle with here. And this is where I have like the um, survive and survive and advanced mentality. That's like got to keep me afloat. But does anybody feel good about this offense going into the going into this stretch run here? Like last game of the season playoffs. I mean, it's Josh Allen hasn't been very good recently and there have been some weeks where you know the rushing attack was really popping off and you know he was able to have you know 100 yards passing and win a game um i don't know it's there's something off with him and i don't know it, it looked like bad decision making um i mean i think it started up front the offensive line wasn't uh, very good in pass protection today. Offensive line wasn't very good opening holes in the run game. I didn't really expect to do much on the ground in this game. I mean, that Patriots defense is a good defense, uh, particularly um, their defensive line. You know, there's some dudes over there and they've been the one of the best rushing defenses all year. So. You know, for what it's worth, I didn't expect crazy things there. Uh, but I did expect them to be able to get some things done in the passing game. Um, so Josh Allen ends up 15 of 30. Um, no passing touchdowns and interception. Um, Allen did have two rushing touchdowns. You know, some whatever they're calling it. The snowplow, whatever. Uh, I don't know. To me, in... In these marquee games, you know, pretty much the season being on the line, you want your franchise quarterback making $40 million a year to, you know, really be what brings everybody up and, and makes this like, no question, like, we got to have this game. We're putting these fools to rest. And it just wasn't that game for Allen. And honestly, like, this was this was a game where he was like a really good running back that threw the ball once in a while. Um, so, you know, I think this is uh, it's kind of one of the things where when the passing game is going great, Allen's going to get, you know, the praise right off the top. He's going to get the most praise, all that, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm not saying this is, a, you know, a binary. Josh Allen is the only issue. It's never one thing. Um, What's going on with the receivers? What's going on with the offensive line? What's going on with Josh? Um, so knowing that he's not, you know, 100% of the problem, uh, I still got to put a, a lot, a lot on his plate there. And this was probably the worst performance I can remember in a very long time outside of like the Jets game week one. Um, and that, that was just a crazy turnover game. Um, yeah, this one just wasn't good. Um, Got to talk about Stefan Diggs here. Um, it was something that, you know, there was a few weeks in there where he started, you know, not being uh, as impactful of a player. And it was kind of, you know, other guys were stepping up, the run game stepping up, just winning in different ways. And... Um, to me, it, it really doesn't matter how it's happening. Just just get the wins. And that being said, it's it's growing pretty concerning, you know, how absent Diggs has been. Um, he had seven targets today, four receptions for 26 yards. And that's kind of been the trend recently is, you know, a lot of targets, even the receptions that he's getting aren't big yardage. Um, and it's just not very efficient play. Now I know, I know this isn't all on digs. Allen did miss, you know, digs on what would have been like a super long touchdown and it would have, you know, changed everything and digs would have been on the side of things I like today. Um, but it didn't happen. And 
we're so used to those two being automatic together that if this team is going to make the postseason, if they're going to make any noise in the postseason, um, the ancillary weapons are not good enough to to not have digs being digs. Um, just plain and simple. Uh, you're just not going to win playoff games if you're not getting some sort of contribution from digs. And I know that I know the teams are game planning and they're going to scheme and they're going to do everything they can to take away digs. Um, we haven't set the team up with good enough weapons outside of digs for him to be a non-factor. Uh, despite teams doing all that to take away digs, he still has to be involved. There, there's just, it's, there's nothing else. He's, he's got to be there. 